Hey, what's up guys? I'm uh, doing an update on the ick um, infestation in my tank. As you can see, my fish are doing good. I didn't lose any fish to ick. So, I did have a loss. I lost the blood parrot. Uh, I lost a couple of Bolivian rams, which I wasn't really showing you guys. Um, they, they got beat up pretty bad. Um, the blood parrot, see, if you can see this bag, I had to cut it. The blood parrot got stuck in the, in the, uh, the long part of the bag. And, uh, as you can see, one of the things fell off. I think it'll be fine. But, uh, that's how I lost the blood parrot. It wasn't even to, to ick, so that's unfortunate. That's definitely an error on my part that I'm gonna have to learn from. Uh, I'm definitely gonna get another blood parrot, maybe two. Um... As you can see, I haven't really seen the Oscar yet. The Oscar is still in the 20 gallon tank. He got up, he got uh, beat up pretty bad. I was trying to feed these guys for the video, but they weren't cooperating. The uh, Oscar was uh, beat up pretty bad. I'll show him here in a second. I'll show him right now, actually. There he is. You can see some of the regrowth on hit the top of his fins there. I'm gonna keep him in here till he, uh, you know, probably puts on some size the severum is ruthless to this guy i think it's because you know he's got some red or or some orange on him too and uh you know they're kind of territorial but uh yeah he's doing fine you know he's a little bit mopey but he's eating um but yeah i just gotta get some size on him anyways back to the big fish tank as you can see the jack dempsey's they have this uh hollowed out bellies you know the sunken bellies they uh they definitely have some signs of internal parasites i'm gonna be watching them very closely you know now that i've dealt with the ick i'm gonna deal with this i might wait a little bit to start medicating just to make sure you know maybe they're just not um food deprived because you know they were in a small tank with a bunch of fish um so i'm feeding this tank a lot you know i have an auto feeder feeding twice a day and then i feed um some blood worms as well so we're gonna try and get some weight on these guys see if that's the issue and what you know i'm gonna look at their poop to make sure there's no parasites or anything in it and once we decide on that you know we're either gonna have to medicate them i'll get some medicated fish food or uh you know maybe they'll be fine but um you can see the uh, convicts here i got another convict uh, male convict um they both are eating like crazy they have little food bumps um i was actually kind of worried because they eat so much you know faster than all the other fish that they just stuff their bellies and it, it looks like they kind of have bloat but you know they they poop just fine uh, i'm gonna keep an eye on them too just to make sure but they poop just fine you know bloat uh, or Malawi bloat is its nickname, can be um, basically extreme constipation. So we're going to be watching these guys. Um, ironically, the silver dollars, which are the most susceptible to ick, are like doing the best. So uh, I put some food in here just to try and get them to uh, slow down because they're scared of me because I moved them in here, but uh, it didn't work. But yeah, the silver dollars are doing the best. They eat like crazy. You know they're the most susceptible to ick and they're doing just fine so i'm super happy about that those were really the fish i was mostly concerned about as far as like possibly dying and uh you know not that i neglected the other fish i tried to you know save all of them the blood parrot was just a really a, just a bad accident but uh you know you learn you still learn stuff no matter how long you've been in the hobby so you know, I've been keeping fish for a while now, so this Severum's looking awesome, though. Anyways, guys, don't judge me too hard. I lost a f couple fish. Um, you know, I'm, I do my best. I'm just a normal person who makes videos on fish. You know, I try to help you guys as much as I can. I do a lot of research, and, uh, you know, that's where I get all my information. I don't I don't make anything up. I, I uh get my information off people I trust in the hobby. So just, you know, take mine with a grain of salt. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you on the next one. Toodaloo.